Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario Color Splash. So we ended the last episode, um, right with, um, right after we saw these guys. So let's go ahead and take care of them. And we'll get back another piece of that mini paint star. Um, I wonder if I have anything that can hit all of these guys. I have, oh yeah, here we go. Worn out hammer times five. Hopefully that'll be good. Ooh, nice, okay. That should take care of all of them. As long as I don't mess it up here. Awesome, and then we maxed out our coins again. Um, so let's grab that. It's been a, um, probably about a week since I last played, so I don't remember exactly how many pieces we already have. Um, it is so hard to make sure you don't miss everything, anything in this area, because everything is so tiny. And that includes all the secrets, all the hidden spots. Alright, so I guess we'll go this way first. Let me take care of that guy. Um, so, in, in case you're wondering um, about why no Origami King video ever went up, I decided not to play the game. Um, I know I said on the last episode um, that I would still be playing it, but um, I decided not to. I talked about it in one of the mother videos. Um, I think it was episode 13. Small Goomba game. Um, let me see. I'm gonna do Worn Out Hammer times three twice. Yeah, I talked about it in Mother Episode 13, so I don't, I won't go over it again. But um, I basically just don't want to have this playthrough going alongside Origami King because we're really nowhere close to being done with this one. Maybe halfway. Oh wow, it really got me there. Um, so yeah. If you are interested in a um, Origami King playthrough and you're looking for one, my um, brother, Camatello, his name's Camden, his channel's name is Camatello, who you might have seen on my Mario Strikers videos. Um, I think I just did my way... Um, overkilled those guys. Um, yeah, my brother Camatello I think is going to be doing a playthrough of it. He's playing through Thousand Year Door right now. Um, and he mentioned that he's probably going to play through Origami King. So, I mean, you know, we're brothers, so we have a similar style. So if you want to um, check his videos out, I'm sure it would be much appreciated. I'll put a link to his um, playthrough of the game um, in the description and probably also um, in the end card of this video at the end with the outro song Please sacred tree hear my plea. I wish to read. I wish to join the rescue squad, please. Wow the sacred tree is just as giant as the rumors say And there's our piece mega Mario You're huge eh, I think You're just small. Did you eat a mega mushroom or something? They don't even grow in this climate. He's not huge, you're just a shrimp. Kamek's magic must have shrank you. What? No, I came here to ask the sacred tree to get me into the rescue squad. But now that I'm a micro toad, there's no way they'll let me in. You guys gotta help me grow up again. I'll wait at the rescue squad headquarters in Port Prisma, though it might take me a while to get there with these tiny legs. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna be able to help him out, but whatever. Look, Mario, mini paint star piece stuck in that tree. Old sacred tree. What? Hang on a sec. I'm just gonna uh, stay back here. Go ahead and whack, whack it with your hammer. Okay. Ooh. Should have seen that coming. I'm so sick of fighting these groups. Oh my god. What the heck? They did 50 damage. Jeez. Alright, um, I should have some mushrooms. I actually have a big mushroom. 
Let's use that. Um, I'm trying not to use my worn out jump times five because I want to donate that. Um, I will use my big jump. And then I guess we can do a hop slipper times two. It's nice that we get to use three cards now. I like, I much prefer like being able to use more cards as you progress as opposed to the sticker star system of like randomly being able to use extra cards. Uh, that's not really doing much at all. It's like every three jumps one of them leaves. I don't know how to dodge that first one. But yeah, anyway. Um, um, just to give an update about my other Paper Mario games I'm playing through, because I've mentioned it a couple of times. I think this should be good. I'm in like chapter four of Sticker Star now, and I'm starting to come around on it a little bit. Like it actually has um, some good parts for sure. Like I feel like I just never was able to get through the game because I really don't like the desert chapter. And um, now that I'm past that, um, I like I'm starting to see the merits of it a little bit more. Man, it sure got dark out quick. Dark and stinky. God, Mario, get it off. Get it off. On second thought, I've got this one. Wow, good job. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm actually... I am starting to come around on Sticker Star a little bit more. Like, it still would easily be my least favorite Paper Mario game. But um, I am enjoying it a lot. I, I'm i still planning to make a ranking video of the Paper Mario games after um, Origami King. Why do I have to battle him instantly? That's weird. Um, right now my rankings from worst to best are leaning towards Sticker Star. Um, Sticker Star, Super Paper Mario, and then maybe Paper Mario 64, then Color Splash, then Thousand Year Door. The only one I'm going back and forth on is um, Paper Mario 64 and this one. I really don't know which one I like better at this point. Um, so I'm going to have to wait till I finish this to really say. I should go do a save just in case. Um, Super Paper Mario though, I've kind of like soured on it a little bit more the more I've played it. Because there's just so much, like there's a lot of good in it, but there's so much like questionable game design choices, like tons of backtracking, um, and it, a lot of it is optional stuff, but I'm trying to do everything, so I am including that. Um, like the story overall is really good in the writing, and I enjoy the platforming gameplay of it, but yeah, the more side stuff I do, the like, um, kind of like the more my opinion of it sours. It smells like there are a bunch of Goombas out there, either that or you could really use a shower. Goombas? Yeah, I thought so. Okay, I'm just gonna stay in your pocket for this one. There's no way you can survive an onslaught of that size. Avoid that Goomba army at all costs. Okay. S it's me again. Well, there's no one else in your pocket, so of course it's me. A paint star piece is waiting in that sea of small Goombas. We gotta get to it somehow. Why did you have to tell me that? <laughs> like, yeah, obviously. It's a little... This game can be a little too hand-holdy sometimes. And then other times it's just like... Um, um, expects you to know things like completely out of left field, like the thing cards. Should be coming up on the, um, oh nice, on the 100% of the paint spots on this chapter soon. Let's grab that. Piece number four. Wow, that frame rate is dipping. <laughs> that was slowing down. Man, this is completely useless because <laughs> I don't, 
None of these coins matter. I really hope Origami King is looking like it's also going to drown you in coins, so I'm hoping that they like up the cap on it. I've been trying not to watch too much um, of the newer preview videos because I want to, like, I feel like I know enough about it. I want to just go in to the game not knowing too much more. No way I'm going in there. I've seen this movie before. Oh man. There we go. Oh man. I don't know why it gives him a first strike. Man, and they take so much of my damage. Or so much of my health, I mean. I don't even know if I could survive a second attack. Um, I'm gonna go with a POW. Worn out jump times three, and a worn out hammer times three. I'm hoping the pal will flip all of them over. Oh, it didn't do anything. I don't understand. Why is nothing happening? The pal didn't flip them over or the jumps? And it's not killing any of them either? This is bizarre. Alright, that's at least killing a few of them, it looks like. Maybe? <laughs> I don't understand. Um... There's, I mean, there's really not a lot I can do here. Um, I really don't even have a lot of cards, and it didn't seem like the jumps were doing anything. I don't have any hammer, like regular hammers, so I guess I'll use a couple of knockout hammers. And... A regular hammer. I mean, that seems to be the only things that are doing anything. Alright. Yeah, let's get rid of a few of them. hope this doesn't kill me. Did 18 damage, so you should be good to survive one more. Let me do a battle spin, because I have so many coins and, like, no cards. I mean, I have a lot of cards, but I'm definitely running low. I got a mushroom card. Okay. I mean, I guess I'll use that. And then... Um... I'm really low on hammer cards, so... I'm gonna try another jump. And then I'll use a... I mean, I guess an e-camera, that's all I have. I have e-cameras or blaze hammers. I feel like a blaze hammer would be wasted on them. Because I doubt they're gonna take any fire damage. Yeah, jump's just not doing anything. That's so weird. Like, normally it flips them over. This doesn't look like it's doing anything either. The last couple did. <clears throat> well, there's only a few of them left now. So, a couple of worn out hammers should do the trick. This is a weird battle because they don't like. They're not following the normal rules of Buzzy Beetles. Alright. It's over. Got all of our paint back. And I think that's the last Paint Star piece, right? Maybe not. Probably have to go to the end still and then, like, put it together. Smells like you got a piece of the paint star. Nice. Alright. Can we go down that still? Well, it's definitely a pipe, but it's tiny. Nope. <laughs> this is just sad. There's no way you're fitting in, we're fitting in there. Hmm.
Um, I'm not gonna waste a card putting it in here. Because, I mean, I have no idea. Um, I mean, it's letting me put a card in there. <clears throat> but yeah, I have like zero clue what would go in there. So I'm not gonna bother. I was hoping like maybe it would like let me stretch it out or something. Hmm. I might have to look that one up later or something. It just sucks that like you can't really guess which one because then you're gonna lose your cards. And I don't want to do that. Especially because they're like thin cards usually, so they're way more valuable. Um, man, the coins in this game are so much... Oh, is this the beginning? It is the beginning. Um, the coins in this game are so much more valuable... Or, sorry, plentiful than the coins in Sticker Star. I'm like always hurting for coins there because I'm trying to do everything in that game too. So I'm always buying the blue doors. Um, and I'm like always hurting for coins because of it. So like the thing stickers, you really have to pay attention to them because it's going to be expensive to get them back. But here, like we could just go buy a hundred of them, maybe literally, <laughs> and it wouldn't even make a dent in our coins. We did it. The mini paint star is whole again. Impressive handiwork, Mario. Let's grab it and go. Let's do it. Hold it right there. Oh man, is it a mini hammer, bro? Thanks for putting that paint star back together for us. That was mighty nice of you. My hammer would like to thank you in the face. Wow. So threatening. Alright, I'm gonna try a worn out jump times three. And then a worn out hammer. I'll just do one of each just to see like what works on them because the Buzzy Beetles didn't follow the same rules. That's probably because they were a swarm. I guess these guys don't get flipped on their backs, but I can't really remember if they ever did. Oh man, why does they have to... why can't I just target who to hit? Oh, they can't even hit me? <laughs> Aw, that's just sad. Alright, um, worn out hammer, and then I'll do a double E camera. Should hopefully take care of him. Uh, I don't know. It's doing like nothing to him. Why is it? It's so weird, like, who decides the target? I was expecting the second hammer to go to the guy at front. I mean, I'm not complaining, it worked out, but still. Alright, well, worn out jump should work. Stop the coins again. Wow. Oh, we got a paint upgrade. Who cares? We always have plenty of paint. Alright. Well, let's grab that. I feel like we could have gotten 100% on that level. At the C. And we get nothing useful because everything is maxed. Use some more HP. Why not give us some of that? Oh wow, that's way over there. Huh. Um, ninety-four percent. Okay. We're also missing one more paint star. So I don't know if we should go back and try to get it or not. See what's this place? Cobalt base. <clears throat> well, let's just try to go here, I guess. I don't see why not. 
Oh, is this going to be a water level? I would not mind that. Um, what's this guy doing? Got some good stuff here. Has a thousand coins sound. Dude, I don't even care. Coins are meaningless. Thanks, and you didn't get them from me. Alright, let's see what we got. Um, we got a KO hammer, a Goomba. What? Oh, no, what's going on? I almost accidentally threw them away. Oh, we got a fan sticker card. Um, we got a fuzzy card. Hmm, that's interesting. Let me get the stylus. A uh, big hammer, a big KO hammer, a big E hammer. Uh, we got a swoop. We got a spin jump. Wow, we got lots of new cards here. That was awesome. Can I just keep buying more? I'm all out for today. All right, fair enough. Um, do I need to fill this in? Yes, I think so. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna take forever. Well, I got a lot of new cards, but I don't really want to use a lot of them because I want to donate them to the museum because they are like brand new cards. I'm also wondering if because he gave us cards that this is going to be like the boss because if it is then we need to find the thing card first. Um, so we may want to go talk to thing guy before doing anything. But I'm going to need to save before I can leave the level. Or else I think we might lose our progress on this thing. Huge camera. We're getting a lot of huge cards. Um, I got a lot of them from that um, sniff it. So, I'm wondering if that's like a hint of what's to come. And we actually need coins again, so that's nice. Let's fill these guys in, and then I guess we'll just head on in. If there is a boss, I mean, worst case scenario, we can just run away. Oh, come on, there's no way it's going to be that easy. Yeah, there we go. A trap door, where the heck are we? The floor's covered in water and it looks like the pipe goes down even deeper. Well, you've seen a pipe or two in your day, Mario. What do you think here? We don't have a lot of options. It looks like we have zero options. Oh man. Whoa, it's so quiet. Are we underwater? But we can still breathe. Oh, that's pretty cool. Let's get ready to play. Sniff it or whiff it is what I'm guessing they're gonna say. Yep, whiff it. Alright, I did this in Sticker Star recently, so I know what to expect. Seabed edition. That's right folks, it's that time once again. I'm your host, Sniff It. And our contestant today is why if it isn't our old friend Mario. There are seven rounds, but the le win at least four of the rounds, and you'll win the grand prize, a mini paint star. Win all seven rounds, and you'll be invited to participate in a special bonus round. Use the cards you have on hand to answer the questions, and don't forget to paint them. If you're not confident in your answer, you can always pass, but that'll count as an incorrect answer. So are you ready to play? Sure am. All right, please make your way to the contestant area. Now, let's get started. Round one. Spinning card. Identify the card that you see. A worn out jump times three. 
think it's times three. Yeah, it's definitely times three. All right, now please answer using the cards you have in your hand. Um, wait, so I have to actually have the card? What if I just don't have it? That's weird. Well, luckily I do. I'm gonna guess we lost that card too. So far, so good. Round two. Kelp cards. We're going to show you three cards. You must identify all three. Okay. Um, worn out hammer, fire hammer, KO hammer. <sighs> Maybe it only draws from ones that you do have. So I got the KO hammer, got the blaze hammer, and I got the worn out hammer. I wonder if the order of them matters. Um, I think I got them in the right order. And it did say I have to paint them, so I'll do that. Let's see how you did. Awesome. This makes me think the order of them does matter. Alright, alright. So far, so good. Round three. Entwined cards. We're going to show you two cards. Identify both of them. Um, big mushroom and hop slipper. Is that a big hop slipper? I feel like it was a big hop slipper. Do I even have a big hop slipper though? I do. Okay, I'm pretty sure it was a big mushroom and big hop slipper. Um, I don't know which order they would go in. So I'm not sure if that matters. I really hope not. That would be kind of garbage if it did, but I can see that happening. <laughs> awesome. Ah, oh, man. It's a little hop slipper. Man, and I just lost those cards, I bet. Oh man, you see Mario, you're not just playing for the enjoyment of our studio audience and millions around the world, you're playing for your life. <laughs> Looming above you is a bona fide spike covered urchin. Every time you lose a round, the urchin's razor sharp spikes inch a bit closer to that bubble you're in. Sorry about that, it really helps our ratings. <laughs> wow, wasn't expecting that. Um, yeah. What a champ, our next round is... Round four. Card roulette. We're going to show you three cards. Identify all three of them. Um, alright. Spin jump, spike helmet, spiny. Man, I'm gonna have to get rid of my spin jump. I just got that. Alright, um. Spin jump, spike helmet, spiny. Am I on a time limit here? Alright. I just gotta go all the way to the front for my spiny. Um, I think I put them in the right order. Well, I don't know what order it was in. I just put them in the order I said. Cool. Ah, oh, cool. Okay. So that doesn't matter. Good to know. Awesome. Congratulations, that's three correct now. Just one more clear. Round five. Paint that card. 
We're going to paint a card right in front of you. You'll need to choose the same card from your hand and then same, paint it the same amount we painted ours. How do you paint something a different amount? Aw oh, man, I'm losing my fan card. Ooh, okay. Alright. I didn't even know you could partially paint things. Alright, I'm gonna try. Nope, that was way too much. I can't remember if it was right past the blade or right before the blade. Let's see how you did. Ah, it's too slow. Hand too far over. Dang it. That was a tough one. Oh, that's a shame. Jeez, man. How many can you get wrong? You should be able to get three wrong before losing. Shouldn't lose till the fourth one. Falling cards. I'm going to show you three cards. Identify all three. All right, that's a slap hammer, e hammer, big hammer. Or I think it's, I don't remember what that's called. But yeah, e hammer, big hammer. Pearl hammer, that's what it's called, I think. Um, hammer, all right, so I got the big hammer. Got the e hammer. Let me find the hurl hammer here. Um, do I have a hurl hammer? Let me sort these. Cause I'm not seeing one. Oh, there we go. I got it. I don't know what happens if I run out of paint. I'm getting a little bit low. Awesome. Alright, let's go to the bonus round. Congratulations, you've won four rounds and have secured your prize. Now, you didn't complete a perfect game today, but there's always next time. Come back on the show, complete a perfect game, and secure your place in Sniffer with it. You'll win a sweet prize, too. Oh, can I not go on to the bonus round if I don't get a perfect game? Sniff it or whiff it! I must have missed that. Well, I'll have to do it again sometime. Uh, I'll probably just do that off camera at some point. Awesome, there's our paint star. If it's anything like a sticker star, you just do like a slightly harder version of one of the rounds and you get like a unique thing card. Actually, you might have to do it before the boss. Now that I'm thinking about it, I could totally see that happening. Was there only one paint star there? Oh yeah. Looks like that's 100 percent in. Got another Rochambeau temple open. Fort Cobalt. Oh, okay, so this is our boss. So before we go there, let's go back to Port Prisma and talk to Thing Guy. And also drop off some of these cards. Um we got a letter too. I still never found that peach thing. I'm sure I'm just like walking right over it. But yeah, I've not seen it. What are these guys talking about? Hey, did you hear about the train? Apparently it's been stuck near Kawana Temple for ages. What's the holdup? Problem with the tracks? That is the problem. I don't remember. Oh, here's the peach thing. Probably walked by that like a hundred times. Let's 
Dear Mario, I witnessed something terrible from the airship where I'm being held. Some horrendous black thing was dropped on Sungola Ridge. It painted everything black in an instant. Bowser just watched and laughed, seemingly pleased with himself. He must have given the order. Why haven't you rescued me yet? Why don't we get to play as Peach to see what's going on from her point of view? Like those first two games. Seems like it would be a pretty easy thing to put in there. Alright, let's uh, see what our letter is. Hello Mario, thanks to you we are finally able to have our long-awaited tea party at the hotel. With that completed, we're going to ascend to a higher plane of existence now. Eternally yours, the tea party toads. Remember? Yeah, okay. That's awfully nice of the spooky toads to send a thank you note like this. But I wonder why they were so fussy about their tea party to begin with. I mean, why not, man? Let them have it. Um, let's go... What does this guy sell? Hey Mario, thanks again for helping me get set up here. It's way more exciting than my old location. Come back anytime, okay? You're my favorite regular. I've never even bought anything from you, ever. Um, okay, I don't know what those do, so... I'll... Maybe eventually I'll buy one just to see, but... Let's go talk to Thing Guy. And then... We'll, uh, drop some cards off at the museum. And then, um, that'll be about it for this episode. And on the next one, we'll head over to the... Whatever Koopa Kid we're fighting this time. Hello again, Mario. Need to know anything about... Need to know about anything today. You must seek three joyous, brilliant things floating in the space for the dancer's voice echoes. So that's the balloons. We got those. I have a really special feeling about that. I sense one more thing about the thing or things you seek. You already have everything you need right now. Okay. So I guess we got it. Um, let me see if there's any I should buy, though. Are there any I need for the museum? I can't remember if I already brought a bone to the museum. I don't think I did. Yeah, so the rest of this episode I'm just gonna be um, going to the museum and donating all of it. I would normally do it off camera, but since we're at the end of the episode, I'll just do that now. Um, so that, you know, if you don't want to see that part, you can just tune out um, and not miss anything else because we won't do anything other than that. So I'll go donate everything to the museum and then um, I'll hold on to the balloons. I was thinking maybe I would donate the balloons and then go back and buy a replica, but I don't want to risk it because I'm still not positive whether or not the replicas are weaker. And if we're going to a boss, it's probably not the time to take that risk. I should talk to those yellow rescue toads to see what that um, the mini toad has to say. I wish I could show you guys the cards that I've donated, but they only show up on the gamepad. My my, you've been busy with that old paint hammer, haven't you? Yeah, we got some new sounds. I really like the music in here. Like, it's just so nice. I could just spend, like, forever in this place. Um, okay, so I got the big mushroom. Um, KO hammer. Huge E hammer. Worn out jump times five. Big KO hammer. I had to use a lot of them and sniff it or whiff it, unfortunately. But I still got a good amount. And then this one, I know I have the swoop. Um, I got the fuzzy, swoop, Koopa Troopa, forgot about him, and Paragoomba. Awesome. Thanks for your donation, we really appreciate the help. No problem. And then last, we got some thing cards to donate. I got that teapot, and I got the turnip. Oh, I already donated the balloons. Cool. So I must have a replica in my inventory. I got the bone and the turnip. I already did donate the teapot, I guess. Cool. You are very welcome, Toad. 
episode number 74. All right, well, um, well, let's talk to that mini toad while we're over here. And then I'll start the next episode um, um, at that next level. Excuse me, sir, I'd like to volunteer for the rescue squad. I'm, fall I'm small, but I'm fierce, please. Sorry, kid, rescue squatting is dangerous work, and we need everyone to pull their own weight. Go eat vegetables until you triple in size, and then come see me. Aw, uh, maybe we have to give him a turn up. Are you kidding me? Arg! Oh, poor guy. I'm never gonna triple in size, which means I'll never be able to join the rescue squad. Um. Alright, well, actually, I'll start the next episode doing this then, because, um, I said we wouldn't do anything else important this episode, so yeah. Um, we'll try to give this guy a turnip, so I'll go buy one, and then we'll start there, and then we'll also probably go get the third big paint star, and then we'll officially be halfway done. I feel like we've been playing this forever, I can't believe it's only halfway. This game feels like way longer than the other games, but I don't know, that might just be my imagination. It's probably because there's a lot of levels instead of just like big chapters, like a lot of smaller levels. But anyway, thank you guys for watching today. Um, I hope you're enjoying, hope you're enjoying Origami King if you're playing through that. Um, like I said, make sure to check out my brother Camatello's playthrough of that. I'll have a link in the description. And yeah, that's all for today, so have a great day. Bye.